Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint. Been looking forward to this video for some time. This is a Coach House Platinum XL, and I think it's beautiful. So, it's a 2021 E450 chassis. Coach House is down in Florida, I believe, and they do a one-piece fiberglass body, which is a bit unique to this industry. Uh, it looks like it has an aluminum subframe or substructure. Built really well. Um, yeah, out of the ordinary, and I think it's really nice. So, we did our six inch lift on 33s. A few things I wanna say before we get too far for the guys that are new to our channel. Um, this is not for sale. We very rarely sell rigs. If we do, I'll definitely put that in the title, make it very clear that the rig is for sale. If you're looking for pricing on our RV conversions, you can email me or check out our website. We have a page dedicated strictly to the RVs on our website. So, back to the fun. Six inch lift on 33s. Sorry about the mud. We just did some photos across the street and there's a little, it's been raining. 295 70, 17 up front on some Pro Comp La Paz wheels. Out back, we've got a 255 85 16 on stock uh, factory steel wheels that we sandblasted and powder coated. Yes, those tires are the same overall diameter. As of today, we're working on um, a new setup. Uh, these tires have been hard to find lately, and we're working on a new setup where we're switching the rears to 17s to give us more tire options, including some all-terrains, which I know everybody wants. Front axle is a Stage 2 Dana 60, 456 gears, Detroit True Track with the RSC upgrade. RSC upgrade gives you serviceable wheel bearings, 35 spine stub shafts, and the big F550 14 and a half inch diameter brake rotors which are super nice for stopping big guys like this. More, more info axle on our website also. Uh, we've got our front bumper. We're loaded with a bunch of Baja design lights. We've got the LP9s up top. They're lit up right now with the parking lights. We wire them to the parking lights and it's got a low beam and a high beam. We've also got a trio of auxiliary lights here. <clears throat> uh, you'll notice this bumper has the front radar and adaptive cruise control. That's a factory thing. It's not something we add. It's not aftermarket. It came on the rig. This is the second one we've done. Everything's functional. We just have to mo uh, modify the front bumper face to accept it. Uh, works really cool, actually. I, personally, I would never use adaptive cruise control <clears throat> on a rig like this, but it's there, and we didn't want to eliminate it, so it's all functional. Got a worn VR 12,000-pound winch, front receiver. You see the front OBA port and an Anderson plug. It gives you direct access to the battery without getting under the hood. We swapped out the grill for a black Ford grill. And that's the front end. Uh, custom spec springs front and rear, of course, as always. Single Fox 2.0. This is a 7.3 Godzilla engine, so we um, it's got the 6R140 behind that. We don't have to do much to make them four-wheel drive. Basically, just pull off a flange and pop on the 6R140 transfer case. Uh, this one does have a slip yoke, and something else is new on this rig is we did a 5-inch aluminum drive shaft in the back. It turned out really nice. It already had a, <clears throat> an upgraded rear sway bar, so we left it and just changed our links out to more of a direct link. It gives you better, um, better performance and eliminates the bushings that like to crack and let the sway bar flex a little too much. Uh, we do have an S-Pod controlling all the lights and the OBA and a reverse override. We do have onboard air on this rig. It's mounted up under the rear. I'm not gonna get on the ground because it's wet. Out back, we had a little bit of a, I don't know, we, we're trying to figure out what to do with this bumper. <clears throat> it has this really nice molded bumper in the rear that also holds the poop pipe. So we didn't really want to eliminate that, we, but we also didn't want to completely replace it because it matches the body so well. So. We made some brackets to attach to the frame and we made another bumper. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, double bumper. Buried some rigid reverse and marker lights in there. It's got a little open box on the driver's side, spare tire in the center and a Pelican on the right. Turned out really nice. Super slick. If you want to see the inside, I'm not going to show it. So um, there's the model number. It's a Coach House 272 XLFR. Really nice, super high-end rig. 
I'm sure if you want an interior tour, there'll be some professional RV salesmen that can hook you up with that on here on YouTube. All right, I think I covered it all. If you don't follow us on Instagram and Facebook, please do. I post daily shop updates, show you what's going on. And uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujointoffroad.com. Like I said earlier, we got pricing and info on our RV conversions there on the website as well. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.